Hello everyone. When you have a data set containing information about different categories of products and you need to monitor each category very carefully, then copying rows from one sheet to another is the best option for you. So this is Chihadrian Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn six methods on how to copy rows from one sheet to another based on criteria in Excel. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the dataset a bit. Here we have the name of the fruits, their unit prices, their weights, and their total price in column B to column E. Our target is to copy rows from one sheet to another based on a certain criteria in Excel. For this tutorial, we'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to copy rows from one worksheet to another by using the filter option. Here, we have two worksheets, filter option source and filter option destination. Our target is to copy rows from the worksheet filter option source to filter option destination worksheet. To do that, at first we'll go for the filter option source worksheet from where we want to copy the values. So we'll go for the B4 cell and select the area by pressing Ctrl plus A in the keyboard. Go for the data tab. And here, you'll go for the sort and filter and click on the filter option. Now, you'll have the drop down list. Click on the drop down list and you will see that you have got the values of every data you have used. Now, untick the values which you don't want to copy. Press OK. You have got the range what you want to copy in your filter option destination worksheet. So, press Ctrl plus C in the keyboard. Go for the filter option destination worksheet select the cell where you want to paste your values in this case we have gone for the b4 cell press ctrl plus v in the keyboard to paste the values here so that's how we can easily use the filter option to copy certain rows from one worksheet to another we can also use advanced feature to duplicate rows we have two worksheets advanced source and advanced destination we have the same data sheet in the advanced source worksheet, but this time we have a condition. We'll only copy the rows if the values of total price is greater than 150. So at first we'll go for our advanced destination worksheet. Go for the cell where you want to get your output. Now you'll go for the data tab in the sort and filter. You'll go for the advanced. Now in the advanced filter dialog box, go for copy to another location. In the list range, you'll go for the advanced source worksheet and select the values like B4 to E9 in the criteria range you will again go for the advanced source worksheet and select the B11 and B12 where you have already your criteria copy to is the output of your work so you need to get the work in the B4 cell so select the cell and press OK here you will see that you have only got the values greater than 150 here copied in your new worksheet. So that's advanced feature for you. In our third method, we want to use array formula to copy rows based on a certain criteria. Here we have the name of the fruits, their unit prices, weight, total prices like the previous methods. But now this time we have the name of the shops in column F. And Based on these shop names, we have created the worksheets like Rooted, Ambrosia, Fruity, and Vita Pure. Now, we want to get the copied rows in this worksheet from the array formula source worksheet. Now, at first, we'll go for the Rooted worksheet where we want to copy only the rows of the Rooted shop from the array formula. Now, go for the Rooted worksheet, go for the B5 cell insert the formula here where you have already set the criteria as rooted let's talk about the formula a bit here we have the if error function to check any kind of error is in the selected range or not then we have the index function to search a certain value within the value range here at first we have our first array selection in the array formula worksheet which we have used as our source worksheet now we have selected the value of A5 to E101 as our array 
and in our next portion we have the row number for which we have used the combination of small along with an if condition if it's met in the criteria zone of the array formula of the selected values is in the criteria of this worksheet or not here the array formula is our main worksheet which we are trying to copy from after that we have the logical test in the if error function if it fulfills the value of the criteria then it will go for the array formula worksheet where it will copy this portion and then it will set the criteria and go for the next portion of the criteria and in the next portion it will be showing us the result in the a5 to b5 cell and now it will show us result in the column number in our worksheet at first if it doesn't find any kind of match then it will show nothing here let's use the enter button to get the result here let's use the fill handle from left to right and then use the same fill handle from up to down to get the proper values copied in this worksheet let's check whether everything has happened correctly or not here we have all the rooted values copied from this array formula worksheet to rooted worksheet let's use the same formula to copy rows in other worksheets also go for the ambrosia b5 cell paste the value press enter and use the fill handle tool here do the same for the rest of the worksheets also so that's array formula for you in our new method we want to use excel functions to copy rows from one worksheet to another in this case we have the function source from where we want to copy the values and then we have functions destinations where we want to insert the copied rows to do that at first in the function source worksheet we have the fruit unit price weight total price shop names and here we have inserted a new column called sequence which will use to insert a certain formula and in the functions destination worksheet we have the criteria named as enter shop name in the c4 cell and we want to get the copied values here pasted in the shop names and foods column before that we have the shop names set by which we want to get in the criteria zone and to create a list here we'll go for the c4 cell and go for the data tab in the data tools you'll go for data validation to open data validation dialog box as we are trying to get a list so we'll go for the allow and select the list as source we'll go for the e5 to e8 cells press ok and now you have got the drop down list select the criteria according to your wish now move on to the function source worksheet and in the newly inserted sequence column go for the g5 cell at first insert the if function to check whether a condition is met or not and then use the and function along with it to check if all arguments are true or not to get only the true arguments and for next section we'll compare the value of f and if it is equal to the destination functions worksheet c4 so write down the value here as c4 comparison and make it permanent by using f4 in the keyboard after that and in the logical test too we want to compare the total price value which is in the e5 cell in this case if it is greater than or equal 130 in the function source worksheet then it will be going for the next portion where we'll set our max function which returns the largest value within a certain set of values now in this section we'll use an value of g2 to g3 which is the inserting value of the input now go for the g2 value and make it permanent by using f4 in the keyboard after that as we will move on from whole g column so we'll use plus one which will take it to the next section if the value is true if the value is false then it will be showing a hyphen so write down hyphen in the double quotation and use the enter button now as it has not found any kind of match so it has shown a blank sign hyphen now use the fill handle tool and get the result if both the criteria are fulfilled then it is showing us the number but where any of the criteria are not found then it has shown us the blank sign let's go for the functions destination worksheet and here we'll go for the b7 cell to get 
the pasted values. And to do that, we'll use the if error functions, which will return value if any error function is found. For the next portion, we'll go for the value, and inside it, we'll use the index function to return a value or reference of the cell at the intersection point of a certain row or column in a given range. And in this section, we'll go for the function source worksheet as we're trying to get the value of shop names. So write down the whole F column here and we'll move on to our next portion where we'll go for the match function, which will return a certain value in a specific section if it finds any kind of match. And inside it, for the lookup values, we'll go for the row function which returns the number of rows in a reference or array. In this section, as we are trying to get the starting row of 4, that means it will be starting copying from the row 4, then we'll write down 4 to 4. But we need to go for the very first value and make it permanent by using F4 in the keyboard. After that, we'll move on to our next section where we'll again the need of the function source worksheet and here we need the help of the column G sequence which have just inserted newly. Now write down the whole G column and now we need to make it permanent. So we'll use F4 in the keyboard. After that we'll move on to the next portion as we're trying to get the exact match. So we'll go for the zero and now we'll use the ampersand operator then it will go for the blank sign then insert a comma and value if false then it will be showing nothing. Press the enter button and here we have got our shop names routed according to our wish. Now use the fill handle tool from left to right to get the sequence of the fruits also. And now from upper to down you have got the perfect result. So that's combination functions to duplicate rows for you. Now you want to employ Excel filter functions to copy rows from one worksheet to another. Here we have filter source worksheet from where we want to copy the values and here we have filter destination where we want to paste the copied values. To copy rows from filter source worksheet to this worksheet, at first we'll go for the B5 cell and insert the filter function. So write down the filter function to filter a certain range. After that, we'll go for our filter source worksheet and here we'll get the values of B5 to F14. Then move on to our next section of include which is in the F5 to F14 and is equal to the value we are want to search is in this case rooted. So write down rooted here in the double quotation. Press the enter button and now you have got the result here. So that's filter function for you. In our last method, we want to use VBA code to copy rows from one worksheet to another. To do that, at first we have our VBA source worksheet where we have our proper data and we want to copy the data from here and we want to paste it here in the VBA destination worksheet. To insert VBA code, we need the help of the developer tab which is not available here in the normal case. So we'll go for the file tab and options, customize ribbon in the Excel options, go for the main tabs and tick on the developer tab. Press OK and now you'll find the developer tab here. Go for the developer tab, click on the visual basic to open visual basic editor. You can also press alter plus F11 to directly open it here. Now we are trying to get a new module. So we'll go for the insert tab and here we have our module to open a new module here. As we have already copied our code in the notepad. So we'll copy it down by using ctrl plus C and paste it here in the visual basic editor by pressing ctrl plus v you can easily get the code from the article linked below to understand the vba code clearly we'll at first close the project vba project viewer mode and then we'll go for our source code and now we want to compare them so that we can understand everything easily the code started with the sub copy with criteria name next we have inserted five variables as our input which is sheet 1, sheet 2, range 1, range 2. All of them are in the string values. Now, last case, we have the criteria column, which will be as integer. Now, the sheet 1 is VBA source, which is the name of our main worksheet from where we want to copy the code. If you change the worksheet name, then you need to change the value here. Now, you will select the value from the 
VBA source worksheet here B5 to E9 which is marked here and we want to paste the value here in the VBA destination worksheet which is our resultant worksheet. You can also change this value if you have another output worksheet. Now it will start from the B5 cell and as we are trying to get the criteria column 4 that means the criteria will be set further in the column 4. B is the first column, C second, D third and E is the fourth column as we will put the criteria on the total price column. So we have marked the four column here. Now we will go for our necessary ranges which will go for our two new variables range 1 and range 2. Now set the range of the worksheets according to our named. The range will work on the sheet 1 that means our value of the worksheet from where we want to copy the code VBA source and sheet 2 will be the range of the VBA destination that means the resultant worksheet. Now let's copy the headers by going for the range 1 rows 0 where it will begin the copy and it will go for our next portion of 0 and 1 that means if it finds any kind of match within the range then it will use the paste special which copies the value of the site and criteria and then we have pasted the value by paste all. Now we need to go for the copying the data set with criteria where we have set the proper criteria here. Now we'll go for the count portion and in the count 0 will be the starting point and here we have inserted the for loop. The for loop is started with the i1 with the range of the rows count. If the range of the rows count is greater than 150 here our main condition is set because we are wanting to get the total prices which have greater than 150 values copy from VBA source to VBA destination. You can easily change it if you have another criteria in your mind. Then if it is fulfilled then it will go for our next range of rows and then it will copy the value of the i which we have set as our variable and it will go for the count option and again paste all the values if it finds any kind of match within the criteria and then it will end the if function and go for the next i in a certain range and in the cut copy mode it has certain false and then in the application of the code that means if it finds no match then it will go for the next portion and it will go all the selected destination of b5 to e9 let's go for our vb destination and now see whether it's working or not press the run option and see you have copied the code but now if you want to change the criteria suppose you want to get the criteria from 150 to greater than 300 then at first you need to delete the pasted rows then go for the code and here change the VBA code 300 and then run and you have got the result remember that if you want to edit the code criteria then you need to at first delete the previous pasted values and then insert the new criteria and then use the run button otherwise you won't get the proper value so that's vba code to copy rows for you that's it for today you can follow these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelemy.com if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this thanks for watching